lucky man before. No, of course you haven't, for you're much too good, I'm sure. Don't you be afraid of him, this he will visit you. He's a great big coward, so I'll tell you what to do. How do you follow up one of the greatest video games in history with a sequel? They put a 2 on the end of Bioshock, giving us Bioshock 2. It could use a catchy subtitle though, like Rapture Strikes Back, The Wrath of Rapture, Rapture 2 Electric Waterloo. The style is back, the amazing gameplay returns, the storytelling is excellent. The old school music returns, as you can hear in the background. Just about everything returns, except for that, that sense of amazement that I got in the first 10 minutes of the original Bioshock. I don't want to get ultra dramatic, but the first trip to Rapture is hard to beat. Bioshock 2 faces stiff competition, namely against itself. Bioshock 1 Because it's pretty much more of the same with a lot more scavenging And heavier weapons terrific game one that fans of the original will love But I think you'll also find a few disappointments most notably for me at least Where's the circus of value jingle every time I go to buy something? I loved that in the first game More of the same is not really a bad thing when it's Bioshock, because the gameplay is terrific. You know, this gets lumped into the, to the whole shooter category, but it's not really just a shooter. It's an action-adventure game where you're exploring this amazing environment. You have plasmids, which are like superpowers at your disposal, and a huge variety of weaponry. Hey, what's that over on the shelf? Booze? In Rapture? Don't want to let it go to waste. The writing style is very similar to the first game, so you know right away that everything is not going to be like it initially seems. And while you don't have to play Bioshock 1 to enjoy Bioshock 2, I would highly recommend that you do. Because for one thing, the beginning of Bioshock 1 is still some of the best video game design ever. And also, you'll be more familiar with the characters and the environment, and you'll understand and appreciate this story a lot more. It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. You're playing this game as a big daddy. And I don't want to give away any of the plot twists or, or the ending of the game, because Bioshock is the kind of game, Bioshock 2 is also the kind of game, where you can make decisions about how you play. Are you a good guy, or are you a bad guy? Your actions influence the game. Let's watch this scene played two different ways. What are you doing? Come on, you goddamn monster. Do what you always do. Come on! I kind of felt bad about that, and when you play, you'll see why. I actually played through the game, doing the right thing, rescuing the little sisters. And in Bioshock 2, when you help people, you they'll frequently Come help on, you back you later. So monster. keep that in mind. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. The environment is simply incredible. The art design in this game and just, just technically everything about it is amazing. But I've been here before. The only area where this game even, even slightly stumbles is that if you've played the original, it doesn't give you much more than another story taking place in Rapture, although the ending is awesome. I'm not showing you much from the end of the game, but there's a great scene where you actually get to see a bit of what Rapture looked like when it was new. I'd have liked to see more of that. That was cool. There's a new thing they added into this game where you rescue little sisters and then put them on your shoulder. They tell you where there's Adam and then you go to a body where they harvest the Adam and while they're harvesting the Adam from the body, you fight off zombie-like waves of splicers attacking her. 
that's pretty cool. But just like with the original Bioshock, later in the game is actually somewhat easier because you're so incredibly powerful. I'm not showing much footage of the drill either. I didn't start using it until near the end of the game. The drill is by far the most powerful weapon in the game, and you have this drill dash that you can use, which is pretty much unstoppable when you have your drill maxed out with tonics and it freezes people. I got into a fight against two big daddies at once, splicers and a big sister, and took them all out by freezing them, drilling them, and then shooting grenades. Which, which was insanely fun, by the way. I thought for sure I was screwed until I was just smashing them with the drill, which is awesome. But it does sort of tilt the game in your favor. And there's a plasmid in the game that really, really helps you out, but I'm not giving that one away. In general, I found all of the plasmids were more powerful in this game, especially the security command one. And the one where you attack people with bees, you can easily clear out rooms of splicers with those two alone. Cool storyline in this game, and the audio design is just something else. When you play this on a surround sound setup, you're just immersed in the world of Rapture. This utopia gone wrong that's creaking and moaning and falling down around you. It's one of the richest audio mixes I've ever heard. I'm not sure that I like the new hacking, but the bots have names. They have names like uh, Frederic, Philip. Bioshock 2 also has multiplayer, which didn't seem to really match the rest of the game. When I tried it, there weren't that many people playing anyway, but the storyline is the strength of Bioshock 2. It's awesome. A must play for fans of the original and anybody who likes a good action adventure shooter and excellent science fiction. Bioshock 2. I'm sorry.